Got a hitchhiker, and her name is Isel, and she's from Adana and working in Cat here. And now she's going to a city, I guess. It's named Mush or Kash. 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 Kash yeah. So Isel, hello. Hello. And, and say hello to everybody. Hello. So, are you living in Cat here? Uh, yes. Yeah. And you are? Where do you work? Uh, health. Ah, yeah. Medical worker. Yeah, an anesthetist, yeah, yes. okay. So, on your way on to Kash, what is the place, Kash? What is the, is, is it the city? Uh, Kash is a city or a village? City or village? village. village. Ah, village, small yes. city. Yes. Okay. So today we're diving into the stunning Oludeniz in Turkey. It's a place where the sea sparkles like diamonds and the beaches are a dream. First up the Blue Lagoon. It's so calm and beautiful, you'll think that you are in a postcard. And if you are up for it, so like a bird paragliding from the mountains. The views? Absolutely amazing. Oludeniz is more than just pretty views though. It's got fun water sports, cool diving spots, and lots of nature to explore. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome spots to check out. Ali Denise is waiting for you. So now we came to a place called Ulu Deniz or the Dead Sea, which is famous for Turkish color. I prefer to take off my shoes because I think the sand is very healthy. So let me leave it here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm on the shores of a Dead Sea, but this Dead Sea is located in Fethiye, Turkey. And the, the water is very salty, really salty. Maybe because of that, its name is Dead Sea. No fish. Well, there is a guy looking for something with his metal detector. And I'm going to ask him what he found so far. Hello. Hello, how are you? Thank you. What have you found so far? What do you have? Excuse me, I don't know speaking English. I can speak Turkish also. Merhaba. Ne buldunuz? Bozuk para. Can you show? Huh? Wow, that's great. Go and find. Yeah, I asked him what he found. Yeah, that is no euro, yeah, no. dollar. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Turkish. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. As far as I see Turkish people, when we come to Turkey, uh, there is some notes about Turkish people and they say on Ramadan people are fasting and you should be very you should be very careful when eating because on Ramadan Turkish people don't eat. Yes. But you are not among those who are fasting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And here we are. And this is Mr. Yücel. Oh. 
the lawyer no. today finally takes it. <laughs> He's driving us now. Selam Kazakhstan. Kardeş. Kardeş Kazakhstan selamlar. Hey guys, the galaxy are all over the world. I'm in a place named Gojek, which is just a stone's throw away from the charming city of Fethiye, only 25 kilometers away. Plus, with a convenient nearby airport in Dalaman, your dream lifestyle is closer than you think. Whether you are strolling through the charming streets, soaking up the sun on a luxury yacht, or simply enjoying a cup of Turkish coffee with the locals, Gojek offers a lifestyle that blends tradition with modernity in the most magical way possible. Gojek isn't just good, it's downright incredible. Nestled along the Turkish Riviera, this place has it all. Stunning landscapes, rich history and a vibrant community that welcomes you with open arms. From its roots intertwined with the pirate tales to its modern amenities like public schools, cozy cafes and exquisite restaurants, Gojek has transformed into a heaven for locals, foreigners and even celebrities like Kate Moss, Leonardo DiCaprio and the Beckhams. So if you're looking for the perfect region to call home, Gojek is where it is. So, I was here in Fethiye for several days. I stayed in this neighborhood and Fethiye is really very small villa styled city and it's very calm. I really loved it. I visited several iconic places here and now I say farewell to Fethiye and I'm going to Antalya and Antalya wait for me. So I told you this is my neighborhood and we have the lemon trees and mandarin trees here and it's very warm and very calm. you can have this kind of cars for roughly $600 a month uh, this is a Fiat car and I really enjoy it it's small and it can carry my bags so
tucked away between Kosh and Kalkan on Turkey's Mediterranean shore, Kapitash Beach is a stunning spot. Its clear blue waters and golden sands make it a must-see destination. Accessed by a picturesque coastal road, reaching the beach is as scenic as the beach itself. A short descent down 187 steps leads you to this hidden cove where the Mediterranean meets steep cliffs. Just a quick drive from Kaputash Beach lies Kalkan, a charming seaside town blending history with modernity. Its well-preserved Ottoman Greek buildings and bustling markets invite exploration. Kalkan is a hotspot for water activities, including diving and boat tours, offering access to the breathtaking turquoise coast. So we passed Kemer and now we are very close to Antalya and we see the Russian writings here. What does that mean? A lot of Russians, a lot of people from Central Asia, they come here and Antalya is a very international city. So we are at the station, petrol station now and looking around. Thank you. 